Just when you thought it couldn't get any weirder, we have a wild Chris Chan spotting in a random Walmart. Now, today's video actually is going to have no actual video clips built into it. There were a series of images that were posted on Reddit a couple days ago, basically identifying Chris Chan in the wild in a Walmart. And in case you haven't been keeping up to date, you're unaware of what's going on. So somehow Chris Chan got bailed out. I don't know if that's been solved. I haven't really seen, I mean, I don't keep up with the whole quickie verse a whole lot, but he got bailed out and we haven't really heard from him since he has gotten bailed out uh, in the past like week or two. So nobody really knew what Chris Chan was up to. Nobody really knew where he went, uh, what he was doing. You know, there is plenty of speculation about everything that could go down. You know, uh, some people thought they might have gone back home. And that's a whole thing that I don't even understand. I don't even know if his mom still owns the home. I would have thought that after this whole ordeal went down, that they would have assessed her mentally and checked her into some nursing home or something of the sort. Which, in turn, would have made the house become, like, repossessed or something like that. Either way, we don't really know what's going on with Barbara. At least I don't know what's going on with Barbara. If you do, feel free to let me know down below. But Chris apparently was staying in, like, a halfway house or something like that once he got out of prison. Which is just, you know, it's a, it's a house where recently released convicts can go to... And the people running the shelter or the house will help them try and find a job. And they'll give them a place to stay for a little bit and stuff like that. So, we finally have evidence of him being in the wild. So, it confirms that he was actually released. And we can see what he looks like now. And he honestly doesn't look too much different <laughs> than what I remember. Especially because... He's only really lost a little bit of weight. You know, there were those uh, mugshot photos that showed that he was struggling a little bit in, on the inside. And I'm sure it was really awful for himself and everybody around him. Because I'm sure he kept talking about the dimensional merge and was just bugging everybody. If he was even in the general populace, I really don't know. Because it's quite obvious that Chris has mental disabilities. So, I don't know how that whole shakes out on the inside. But there were some like letters that were passed around between different people. I know that Smokey read a couple of them on his channel. So, I mean, there, there were some updates coming from Chris. Otherwise, it's been kind of silent. And if I can, you know, I once again, I want to confirmed that I'm not the biggest Chris Chan fan. I don't keep up with all of his whereabouts, what he's up to, etc. But I've kept up with the genius Gino Samuel documentary for the most part, so I have a decent idea of what's going on. And personally, I feel like a lot of his recent exploits have become kind of uninteresting. And it's not to say, I mean, obviously, everything that happened with his mom is absurd and ridiculous and disgusting. But, like, everything prior to that, like, dealing with, like, the dimensional merge, him having his multiple Twitters, and him being married to Mewtwo, and Magic Chan, and all that stuff, it's like, all that stuff isn't really interesting to me, <laughs> you know, it's like, at that point, you're just watching a mentally ill person just act out, I don't know how to explain it, really. You know, a lot of his early YouTube stuff was intriguing because, yeah, he was acting like a Spurg, but at the same time, you had to sort of appreciate aspects of Chris Chan because he took a lot of his hobbies and sort of, pers you know, he they became a personification of himself. So, like, yeah, he was obsessed, yeah, he was weird, yeah, he's horrible with money, yeah, he can't talk to girls or whatever you know there's plenty of bad things that he's done but at the same time he was a traditional lolcal in that sense because 
he had all these hobbies that he was into and he would do these outlandish things and trolls would sometimes go over the line but you know it was it was a relatively interesting ecosystem that pertained but then once he like became a little bit more self-aware and then morphed into the whole dimensional merge stuff it just really wasn't all that intriguing it just felt boring for the most part i just didn't care i don't really care it's like hard to watch a lot of those clips of him just muttering and rambling around either way one aspect that did come from that that is semi-interesting to me is the whole jacob sockness stuff it's like jacob sockness is this weird obsessed fan lover of christine so like he is just constantly messaging chris chan and even now there was a post that he posted on like instagram saying that he'll come and find his one true love in the wild again or something like that so that whole aspect is pretty odd <laughs> but either way i thought that we could examine some of these photos that i think two different people took just because it's it's at like different angles and stuff like that so i don't think there's just one person wandering around there's also like a security footage photo which makes me think that somebody working at walmart was the one taking these photos either way this first photo that we're going to look at there's not a ton of interesting aspects going on throughout these images but one thing i'm curious about is how chris is able to afford any of his groceries i don't know if he gets like a stipend from the halfway house or from the government upon being released if so i think that's really dumb i don't understand how that works and we all know that chris was horrible with managing money so the likelihood of him having you know some money to fall back on doesn't make a lot of sense there's also a chance that a group of trolls had set up some fund for him either before he went to prison or once they found out he got out i really don't know this this whole element of him being bailed out is foreign to me so i don't really know all the intricacies that go into it either way i'm sure he's going to responsibly spend his money on things that he definitely needs we're not going to see him buying any toys most certainly right that's not going to happen so the second photo is quite interesting because we see that he has the sonic chan or sonic Chu medallion so i don't know where this stuff is stored you know it's it, it, it's confusing to me because i feel like there's a lot of pieces of the puzzle that are currently missing that we don't really know how they have shaped out i don't know if he still has the house i don't know if he lost the house what happens to his belongings are they just given away was he arrested with the medallion i can't really remember but <clears throat> i think it's quite intriguing that all this time in lockup has not changed his mentality in the slightest you know i think there was some speculation that once he got sent to jail that a lot of these delusions would sort of work themselves out with being confined and being surrounded by a lot of other people that they would just sort of be worked out it's obviously not true he's got his medallion on which means that he's the real chris chan by the way so either way that's a pretty interesting aspect of what's going on with chris chan the next one that i talked about is the security cam footage and he sort of looks like bigfoot that famous photo of bigfoot wandering in the wild but you can see he has a purse he's got some stuff in his cart. i think it's food it's kind of hard to tell exactly what's in there to me it looks just like a pile of coloring books but it's it's too hard to tell exactly what's going on in that cart but either way i mean we don't see any toys necessarily which i guess is a good sign and at the same time you know i've been seeing some people saying that oh like people should leave christian alone and let them 
just exist in in the open and i'm gonna push back on that you know as i said i'm not the biggest chris chan fan i feel like this community can be gatekept i feel like a lot of little cow communities can be gatekept where they don't want people that maybe don't know every little intricacy of chris chan to be able to comment but in my opinion i feel like chris chan is pretty fair game i know i've said in the past that i feel like with chris chan a lot of trolls pushed him to turn out the way that he did there's other influences obviously his parents were horrible he just wasn't raised in the best environment so like there's multiple things that go into it but because of what he did to his own mother i think it's just all fair game i know he's like a mentally ill dude but it's gone on for so long that at some point you just get tired <laughs> of trying to reform him that it's just like we're just gonna ball you know it's 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 too much work to be able to try and decipher anything but that's why I was saying about the security cam footage. I think it's security cam footage. It is a little bit pixelated. It might just be somebody took a picture of it on and put it on their computer and then took another picture of it. I don't really know. But to me, it feels like this is like on some security computer in the back and somebody took a picture of it with their phone. The next photo is him wandering in the electronics section. Don't really know what he's looking for, but... You know, maybe he's gonna set back up his his gaming setup, you know, back in his house or wherever he's gonna go. I don't know. It's all this is is very interesting to me. I'm curious to see how this all shakes out. And the final photo that I want to look at is a more recent photo. So the other ones were taken uh, beginning of Mayish, end of April. And this one was on the 3rd of May. And it's essentially somebody's playing Magic, I think, or some other card game at a card shop. And he subtly took a picture of Christian in the background, uh, <laughs> being very discreet, holding up a card to make it look like you're taking a picture of the card, but very obviously are focusing on Christian in the background. And I really don't know if the people inside this room know what's going on know who this person is you can see the the guy to the left of christian is just smiling having a good time with his buddies playing a game and the two other people that are sitting next to christian i don't i don't know they look a little bit older they might not really know who christian is but either way it looks like i can't tell exactly i think it's a different shirt so at least christian is changing clothes we know that he at least has that ability to have a different variety of clothing either way he's out in the wild he's doing things people will say we'll just let him do harmless activities etc yeah i think that's relatively fine i don't know if this dude who took the photo should be storming over there and and ousting chris necessarily it might make good content i don't really know Either way, I don't think people documenting him is the worst case. You know, it's it's he's the internet's child at this point. So, either way, that is me <laughs> reviewing five different images of Chris Chan recently. If you guys have any other information, please leave it below. I'd love to keep up to date with what's going on. Either way, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.